This video follows nicely from the previous video. There I showed you how to use ChatGPT to translate a scientific abstract into uh, a press release and a tweet and another tweet and then a blog post that was a bit speculative and targeted to coders. And now what I'm going to show you is asking ChatGPT to transform another scientific abstract into an elevator pitch. Uh, of course, an elevator pitch is uh, like a, a very short description of your research or your job or your life. It's something that you would be able to explain to someone on the elevator. So here is my, let me put in another space. This extra space here is for us humans to better demarcate uh, and not for ChatGPT. So the text below is a description of our lab research. Can you create an elevator pitch from this? The pitch should take me around 15 seconds to say out loud. Now, obviously, you know, everyone talks at, uh, at a different speed. So, so ChatGPT will have to leverage knowledge about how long it takes the average person to uh, speak a certain number of words, and then just give me an estimate of that. Okay, and then, you know, you can read through if you're curious. This is, uh, I think I modified this from my CV. But anyway, it's just some text that's a little bit technical, uh, but certainly made for a scientific audience. Okay, so I have my phone down here off screen, and I'm going to time how long it takes me to read this. Yikes, that was like 37 seconds. So I don't know where ChatGPT got uh, 15 seconds from. But okay, clearly this needs a little bit of work. Also, this is not really a great elevator pitch. In fact, I'm going to write to ChatGPT that uh, I appreciate its efforts, but can you rewrite it to be more conversational and less formal? And also, it took me 37 seconds to read. All right, so uh, I read it out loud and timed myself, although I cut it out of the video. You don't need to just keep watching me read this stuff out loud. That took me 20 seconds to read. So it's getting better. Um, it's still a good, you know, I, I think this is a little bit too informal. I, I wouldn't feel comfortable explaining uh, my uh, lab research like this. So somewhere in between these two. So this is a sort of case where you would have two possibilities here. You could either uh, continue prompting ChatGPT and go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, give it more and more prompts to get it to be exactly what you want. Or what I would recommend in a situation like this is you take these two outputs, these are both a little bit on the extreme, and then you yourself merge these together and write your own uh, elevator pitch that you are happy with that is informed by ChatGPT. So ChatGPT is helping you, but it's uh, at the end of the day, it's your work. You know, with these kinds of situations, it might take you 10 minutes to write this yourself, uh, or it might take you 20 minutes to keep working back and forth with ChatGPT until you're satisfied with ChatGPT's result. 